Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making mini moon pies and I've never made them before but they look really good and they have marshmallow in them and I like marshmallows and s'mores and stuff so maybe they'll taste a little similar so let's see how they turn out. So the first thing I'm going to make is my dough and I already have my oven heating up to 350 degrees so the first thing I have is four tablespoons let me scoop this in four tablespoons of unsalted butter softened and then I have one fourth cup of powdered sugar I have one tablespoon of honey oh, I'm gonna have to scoop this out Then I have my vanilla extract. I have a teaspoon. Now I'm just going I need to get this honey off my fingers. So now I have these ingredients in the bowl and I'm going to take my oops, hand mixer and I'm going to mix it together. It's already starting to form because in the recipe book it says till it's light and fluffy. I'm just scooping off. A bit too high. Okay, that looks pretty fluffy. Now I'm going to scoop off the sides again and I'm going to add the rest of my dough ingredients. And then there's the oven. It's already ready. I won't worry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to take one, or not one cup, sorry. A half a cup of flour, then I'm going to take a fourth a teaspoon of salt, fine sea salt. Let me scoop this off. I don't know why it isn't getting off. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to mix this together. Okay, so now I'm ready to roll out my dough and I have my little cookie cutter. And I need 12 because this recipe makes six moon pies. Just adding flour to my rolling pin. And then I take some and add it a little to my dough. And it was pretty good consistency. So, because the cookbook said that if it felt like frosting or icing, that I should put it in the fridge, but it's a good consistency. And I'm probably going to have to make these pretty thin. If I want to get enough. So hopefully this will be enough dough. Now I'm going to cut out circles. I'm going to put them pretty close. And you can see I made them pretty thin so I'm going to have to lift them up using a spoon. 
spatula. That's already six, so I think I'll have more than enough, maybe. Um, okay, I don't have room to cut another one. So let's see if I'm careful enough. Okay, yeah. Then I'm just going to put them on my pan. Oops. I'm trying to be really careful. That's okay, I can redo that one. Let me take the excess dough off. That way I can be more careful. I just put a little bit of flour on the spatula so I can try and lift them up even easier. It's because it's sticking to the parchment paper a little. Where some parts were missing flour. Okay, got this one. Only three more left to go. Last one. Okay, now I'm going to roll up my dough again and roll some more of the cookies. So now I have all my dough rolled, dough rolled out and in circles. And I also have these little flower shapes because I had a little excess dough left over, but they look a little weird. That's okay, I just want to make mini, mini moon pies. I guess they're a little bit smaller than the circles. So now I'm going to put these in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so while my cookies are in the oven, I'm going to melt my chocolate. And I have a little mini crock pot, and we haven't used this before. It just came with our crock pot, like our big crock pot, but we never knew what to use it for, but I'm going to melt chocolate. So in here I have a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm just going to... Oh. I'm just gonna scoop that in there. It's been heating up, so it's a little warm. And then, in here I have a cup of chocolate chips. And I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. I almost touched it because I wanted to like move the crock pot, but I don't, I don't wanna burn my hand, it's metal. It's already starting to melt a little bit. nicely and then over here I have my marshmallow cream which I've never eaten before but my mom said it's really gross but I tried it and it tastes okay but I think it's to me is that story I told you mm -hmm. that my babysitter would feed me strawberry jam and marshmallow cream sandwiches for lunch every day yeah. for the whole summer and that's probably why I don't like it. Yeah. I thought it was okay, but we'll see how it tastes in here. Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time, so. My chocolate is all melted and my cookies are out of the oven, but they look a little crispy. I think maybe because I made them pretty thin, but I think I think I'll be okay. Some of them, like these, they look okay. They're not super burnt. I don't think but, they're burnt. Well, they look 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my marshmallow on the inside. Or, I should put them on the plate first. And then I'm just going to here it is. I already tasted it. So did my mom. Um, I wasn't sure how much to grab and it's hard to scoop onto the thing. I just decided to use the scooper and scoop it on there. Now I'm going to mush it together. But I'll be careful so I don't crack the cookies. And then now I'm going to fill the other ones. Oh yeah, this is much better. Now I'm gonna mush it together. And now I'm gonna do that to the rest of them and then I'll dip it in my chocolate. And the last one is just this little tiny one. So, I don't need too much. so hard trying to get it out. Oops. Okay. It's pretty sticky. Okay. So now I have that one. I have all the other ones. And I'm just going to dip them in my chocolate. Which I have here. Nice melted. I'm gonna do it like a photo and I'm gonna stick one side in. I should probably drizzle a little bit. There's that one. And then I'm gonna put it on my parchment paper. Some of them are pretty full, so gotta be careful. Because I want like half of it full, not just the one end. Wait, that's good. They don't look really neat, but I don't really care because I'm just going to eat them. So now I'm just going to do that to the rest of the cookies. They've been in the fridge for a little while now and the chocolate is hardened, so now I'm going to try it. Looks pretty good. And I'll take a bite from this side so I get everything. Hmm. I thought they were going to be a lot more messy because of the marshmallow, but... Since the chocolate's all hardened, it's nice. And it tastes really sweet, too. I think maybe a little too sweet. But, I don't know. I think I would make these again. They taste pretty good, and I think they're a lot less messy than the s'mores. Because the marshmallow inside, it isn't like completely melted like it would be with the s'mores. But it tastes pretty good, so I'll probably make these again another day. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.